When it comes to choosing a light fixture for your dining room, these five things will blow your mind. Hey decor friend, I'm Tamara with Design Your Way Home and I believe that decorating should not be difficult. Welcome to my internet home where I break down decorating into easy to follow steps so that you can confidently turn your house into a home you love one small space at a time. So a couple of months ago, I got an email from a subscriber and she was saying that she was going to replace her current dining room fixture. She wanted a little upgrade and she had a long dining room table and she just wanted my advice on a couple of options she was looking at. And so that evening at dinner when I was telling my husband about the email exchange, he reminded me that we really hated our dining room life. It was like it came with the house when we built it a couple years ago. So it was purely builder grade, pretty simple, very small, and it certainly didn't fit this long dining room table you see over here. So when we decided to make a change, we decided a few things. One, we wanted to switch from silver to the gold, and we wanted to get a long white fixture like the one we have above, have that same light fixture carry over to above our island because there was nothing there when we got the house built. And let me just say that between deciding on the light fixture all the way up to getting it installed, I learned a lot of things along the way. And so that's why I wanted to share with you today five things that you didn't know when it comes to choosing a light fixture. Not all metal colors are the same. And what I mean by that is, remember I told you I wanted a gold light fixture. When you look up gold anything, you'll get oil rub bronze sometimes, which isn't really gold. You'll get old fashioned gold, you'll get champagne gold, you'll get antique gold. There are a lot of gold options. And if you look between different makers or different stores, you'll see that what someone calls antique gold, it might look the same as someone else's champagne gold. So you really have to take people's naming conventions with a grain of salt because there is no official naming convention or color palette when it comes to different shades of gold. So where I had thought that I was looking for a champagne gold because I wanted this light fixture, to match the cabinet pools that I'm gonna to upgrade to in a couple of months, and I want a champagne color. It let me look for champagne light fixtures. That didn't work out so well. I'm gonna tell you about that issue in point number two. But after some trial and error, I did realize that I actually did not want or actually need champagne light fixtures, that I could go with gold fixture that I saw on Amazon. So the second thing that you probably didn't know about choosing a light fixture is that spray painting is harder than it looks. So when my husband and I decided to get the light fixtures, remember I told you that I wanted this specific hue or color of champagne gold. I couldn't find that color with the light fixture that I wanted. And so I said, well, I'm just gonna buy the light fixture that I want and then I'll buy spray paint and I will spray it the color that I want because it's much harder to find the right size and shape and style of something than it is to change the color or so I thought. So I ordered the light fixture from Amazon, set it out in my driveway and started spray painting the light fixture. I had seen someone do it on YouTube. It looked super easy, but the thing that I found out is that spray painting light fixtures did not work for me. Decor friend, that is not my ministry. <laughs> I suck at it. I ruined an entire light fixture. It was blotty and blotchy. It didn't work at all. And so I literally just had to let that go. I think I sent it to Goodwill hoping that maybe someone else could do something with that light fixture and I bought a new one. And the next thing that you probably didn't know about choosing a light fixture is the proper measurements. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I always say measure, measure, measure. And measuring is so important. But you gotta know what to measure and if you're picking out a light fixture, you also need to know what to do with those measurements. So here's the secret. 
When you're choosing a light fixture that goes over your dining room table, you want the light fixture to be about one half to two thirds width of your dining room table. That's if you're working with a longer rectangular table. And then you wanna leave spacing from the bottom of your light fixture to the top of your table to be about 32 to 36 inches. The other thing that I want you to pay attention to when you're selecting a dining room light fixture is if you have an arched dining room, I'll show you some pictures of what my ceiling height is, but it's a vaulted ceiling. So with the vaulted ceiling, mine doesn't have a straight peak. It actually turns flat at the top and then it goes down. If that's the case in your dining room, you need to make sure that you can measure that flat peak at the top because you're gonna have, especially if it's a longer light fixture, you're gonna have a plate at the top and you need to make sure that that plate actually has enough room to sit on the top of your ceiling. All right, here's the before. Up above, right there is the plug is where the light can go <laughs> and that is our old light we've already moved the table out the way we moved the chairs out the way we are ready the other thing is to measure your ceiling height all the way down to the floor so from the top of your ceiling all the way to the floor because you want to make sure that the light fixture that you choose from the top of the light fixture including the chain all the way down to the last decorative trim or item on your light fixture, that distance works with your dining room and your ceiling heights, all right? And the last thing is to focus on the width of the light fixture. And so the fourth thing for you to pay attention to when choosing a light fixture for your dining room is to know your level of DIYness. Just like I said before, spray painting light fixtures is not a God-given gift of mine. Child, that ain't my ministry. Knowing what you feel comfortable doing from a DIY standpoint is important. It is so important. So for instance, when we first got these light fixtures, my husband and I said, oh, we're super busy. There's a lot going on right now. How about we get a quote on the light fixture? We got a quote, we came in higher than what we wanted, and we decided that we would do it ourselves. Until one Saturday when we got the ladder out and between getting the ladder out, setting it up and looking at the ceiling, we decided that there were better things that we wanted to do with our Saturday. Then try to take everything off the box, read the instructions, assemble the light fixture, hang it, turn the electrical panel off so we don't get electrocuted, hang the light and do all the testing. That's not how we wanted to spend our Saturday. So if you know from the beginning what your DIY level is, that will save you a lot of trouble when it comes to choosing a light fixture. And I gotta say that I am so glad that we did decide to hire an electrician to hang our light fixture because what he shared with me is going to shock you. When he pulled out the light fixture from the box, he said, you made a good choice. And he asked me where I got the light fixture from. And when we were chatting about where I got it from, and by the way, I will have a link in the description box for you below, the electrician shared with me that when he goes to assemble light fixtures for people, a lot of the times they buy their light fixtures online and they end up buying a fixture that is not approved to be used in the US. So I didn't get that type of light fixture so i don't quite know what to look for but i would suggest that when you buy something online and it's electrical light fixture that you read the fine print and make sure that if you do buy one that can't be installed in the u.s that it has easy returns and then also check the description to see if it does say that it fits along with the u.s or wherever you live those electrical guidelines so drop a note in the comments below and let me know which room or rooms in your home you want to update with new lighting. You have just learned the five things that you should consider when it's time for you to choose a light fixture for your dining room. So next you should watch the video where I break down why your build a great home looks boring and what you can do to fix it. But before you go, 
Let me pray over you. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. And that is, if anyone be in Christ, that a new creation has come and the old one is gone. So remember that old things have passed away, new things are here. You can walk in that knowledge knowing that you are a new creation. Amen. All right, your court friends, see you later and happy decorating.